guys, this is Sol. Going to do a basic walkthrough of the Hella Golf Course, one of the two courses needed to pass the Torpo test. And we're gonna have a guildy begin 1967 demonstrate this course. Um, the first hole is a par four, 423 yards. And um, as a level 85, you should be able to birdie this hole. Always, unless it's raining. Um, all you really need to do, if you can't make it to the hole, go to the green and one shot and land it safely on it, is to just land it just in front of the green and chip it onto the green. shot. The wind sort of took it. Hopefully it doesn't go in the water. Okay, goes in the rough. That's fine. As you can see, this fly is a little downhill and a little too slanted to the right, barely. And the wind is 3 meters per second in his face, a little to the east, but um, he should be able to chip it. You don't want to use as much power, although you're in rough, since you're on a downhill line, you don't need to use that much power. Hopefully, he puts enough power in to where it's going to bounce and then roll forward a little bit. In that case, you use some bounce spin, which is fine too. But this is what you want. Land in the rough or fairway, chip, birdie. That's all you want from this hole. Any anyone level 85 or higher should be able to do that. No problem. Okay, this is hole two, the par five. There are different ways you can go about this hole. Um, he may go about it differently than I do, but another par 5, this basically means that you should be burning this hole if you're level 85 and higher. No matter what the conditions are, unless it's like a 7 meter per second headwind right in your face. But he's doing what most people do. You aim for the sidewalk. Because if you take, if you try to go along the path of the fairway, um, you're going to be there for a while. It's it's too long, so you gotta take a shortcut through the grass. This is where your ball will hopefully land up, if not further back, but it's all the same. You're gonna try to aim for the front of the fairway, so that when it lands, it will bounce onto the green, or just land on the fairway itself and chip to the green. No matter what on this course, you should be able to eagle it, or birdie it. see what Biggin decides to do. Looks like he is going for the hole. He's going for the green. It's a little bit over. But he has enough skills where he can stop it. This is what you want. Five yards. He may not make this putt, but you don't have to. It would be great for you to eagle, but you really need to at least birdie this hole, so always play for birdie. Play safe when you're taking the Torpo test, because opportunities will arise while you take a test. Remember, there are 18 holes on this course, not 5, not 10, not 15, there's 18 holes. So there are enough opportunities to make it. Let's see, he leaves a nice one yard left for birdie. That's how you do it. Third hole of this course is a par 3. It's usually straightforward. It's just a straight shot. There's, there's a whole lot of fairway in front of the green. 
there's not much in the back of the green but if you're going to miss getting on the green miss it to the front so then you can have an easy chip in to get close to the hole you can see the wind is three meters per second as a headwind so he has to aim about two target circles behind the hole just to get it relatively close to the hole this should be a good shot good safe shot in the middle of the green par threes you want to try to birdie but get your par you do not want to bogey when you take the tour protest it will cost you a lot you have to make up two birdies just to get back to where you are so just play it safe and go for your birdie or go for your par that's a nice finesse shot it was enough power to, to try for the birdie but enough power to not just fly past a hole um, three yard putts you need to get used to making because that's what's eventually going to happen sooner or later when you take the tour protest you won't always get that one yard putt but you need to try to be able to make your three yard putts um, fourth hole 429 yards um, this hole depending on the weather you can make it all the way to the pin in one but if the weather is bad like it is now because of the headwind 3.5 meters per second then you have to play it safe the safest way to play it is to play it before the bunkers but we'll see if you have good aim then you can land it between the bunkers or you can play on the side see he played it he played a very nice accurate shot that is not easy to do um, next is your chip shot um, 45 yards if you've been playing enough golf by now you should know roughly where your 45 yard mark is for your um, sand wedge um, but also pay attention to the wind because it's still blowing at you right now Big Yin is checking his lie it looks relatively flat in all directions looks relatively flat so he's probably gonna play it flat the pin location is in a pretty decent spot that's what you want if you know you can't make it to the close to the green in one shot on your tee shot then you have to play for par unfortunately but if you make a good second shot if you play safe then go for the birdie right now this is a five meet a five yard putt slightly uphill so it's not going to break too much but he played safe so he's going to have his easy par that's what you want better to par than the bogey we are now moving on to the fifth hole par four 380 yards um, at level 80 to 90 you should be able to make it either on the green or really close to it even with the wind and the wind the weather conditions like this you should be able to get pretty darn close to the green if not on the green using a driver or something for big he does what a lot of people do at times they miss the fairway and as you can see if you miss the fairway you are in a basically a valley so now if this happens to you you have to play for par unless you can read your life properly get it close to the pin he's on the green edge if you're this close to the green edge you're gonna want to putt and then it will bring up a, a basic grid about 
not it's not too it's not too small in detail it's really big so just play it safe play your 5.4 yards if you make it you make it if you don't you don't he didn't make it but he'll play par that's what you want you gotta play safe but play smart Next hole is a par 4. Next hole is a par 4, 444 yards. If you can't make it to the hole in 1, you should be able to at least get to the front of the green right before you get to the bunkers. is going to be helping you the weather is the weather in all aspects right now is helping him get to the hole so he's going to play looks like for fairway that's it that's what you want as you can see his lie is slightly downhill very slightly based on that angle Based on this angle, it looks flat left and right. Right now he's on his pus his putter, aiming the shot and testing his line, making sure it's flat. Once he sees it's flat, he'll probably carry on with the shot. He'll probably use a little bit of down bottom spin just to um, so the ball won't fly as far because the wind is still going with him. The green is heavily sloped from left to right. It looks like from here. I can't tell since I'm not playing it myself. That's a nice chip. <clears throat> Just like making your um, three yard pars, you have to make your three yard birdies. This is a very a fairly common slope for a putt. So you need to know how to aim it properly. Aim it just a little bit to the right, give it about 30% power, and most of the time it should go in. Next hole is a par 5, so you should be aiming for birdie or eagle. Um, There's not much to say about this hole except for the second shot will be a little bit tough because the lie, the terrain is not flat. So you're going to have to play, you have to play the terrain and aim your shot accordingly. See, he has a, he has a slightly uphill lie and it's leaning toward the right. So you need to counter it by aiming a little bit to the left. Plus it's uphill, you want to um, add some top spin to it, and then plus it's 3 meters up, so you want to add a little bit more power than usual. Although the wind is 0.6 meters per second, it won't affect your shot distance that much. Maybe a yard or two. I think, if I remember correctly, the green is fairly flat. See, he didn't add enough power, but it's fine. That's fine. Play for birdie. That is fine. But this is a really nice hole to try for eagle. But if you can get a birdie here, that's fine too. Chip, well done. Give yourself a nice birdie. That's how it's done. We'll be moving to the par 4 8th.
if it's not rainy, then you can play for the hole. But most of the time, you have to play safe if it's raining. You're allowed to use power drinks and stuff on the tour protest, but if it's rainy, if it's not rainy and you're on this hole and you can almost get it to the green and one, then go for it. If not, if it's not rainy and just cloudy, play for the second fairway island. And if it's rainy, play for the main fairway. And then you'll just have to play for par because the green is really tricky. It's really slopey around the pin usually. So, well, depending on the pin location. Very nice shot. Fortunately, this has a nice, decent pin location. Um, slope. It's going to go slightly to the left and then come back to the right. But remember, when you're playing holes that come back left to right, the ball is going to go straight for a little bit to cancel out the curve of it going left. So it's going to go left, then straight, then right. So you have to play that accordingly. See, it goes left, goes straight, and then goes right. So that's why he missed it. But you're going to play for par on this hole if you can't make it. Right now, he's four under through eight holes, but that's fine. If you can get to at least five under, four to five under on the front nine, the back nine of Hella is way easier than the front. Um, the last hole of the front nine is a par three, about 170 yards. Um, right now, the weather is great for this hole, so um, the green is almost circular shaped but usually the pin is located to the right around the small hill so you want to try to aim it left and have it roll to the right if you don't have a good tee shot on your par 3 then you have to play for par don't try to do these ridiculous long birdie putts unless you know how much power you have to put into the shot so that if you do miss you're right by the hole as you can see it's going downhill 0.1 meter so what I do is I subtract that 0.1 from the 7.8 I instead of 0.1 I, I subtract the full one yard so I usually hit it at 6 just so I have a close shot for par which is what he did Four, four under on the front nine, that's pretty average. But the back nine is where you make up all these strokes that you may have lost in the front nine. This par five, tenth hole is very difficult. It's the easiest, it's a really easy first shot, but the second shot is really hard because it's uphill. The, the, the green is um, elevated and there's not much green to work with and if you miss landing on the green then you will be in a giant valley fortunately since um, this character has a pretty long distance most people at my level can't even make it they just make it just past the the second bunker so they land around, right around there, which gives a hard sec harder second shot. But since he has a better drive, then he can get a little bit farther. Um, right now, he's uphill. And it's pretty flat horizontally. But as you can see, the green is elevated on the hill right up there. And you see everything around it just falls off so you have to make sure you're gonna land either at the front of the fairway or on the green and it sticks you have to let it sit on the green so he's gonna add some topspin because he's on he's partially on a hill the weather's fine the wind is fine looks like he's going to hit it onto the green nicely played 
as you can see, everything drops off. Everything drops off. He has a good chance at Eagle, but he might play safe and go for Birdie. And based off the, these slow lines going horizontally, you still want to play all the way to the left. Because it's going to roll back. But he played it safe. Didn't put too much power into it. Gave himself an easy birdie. Eleventh hole is a par four, four fifteen, four hundred fifteen yards. Um, you should be able to make this, make it to the green, even past the green on your tee shot. So this is a bowl that, this is a hole that you have to birdie, no matter what. You, you should be able to birdie this hole, no problem. done. There are bunkers surrounding the hole, but they shouldn't give you too much trouble, to be honest. If you hit it, if, you, if you're going right at the hole, then the bunkers should give you no trouble. If you're playing a wood to get you, reach this green, make sure you land on the fairway before you land on the green. Then you'll be in trouble if you don't. Nice, safe putt. Get the birdie. Like I said, the back nine is way easier than the front nine. Twelfth hole, also a par four, 437 yards. The wind's favoring him, so... If you're a level 85 plus, 90 plus, can make it to the green in one shot. If you're going to miss it, miss it over because unless you like playing from the bunker. If you're a good bunker player, then you can aim for the bunker or just in front of the bunker where there's fairway. If not, play for the sides, preferably the right side, or play for the back of the green. Since the wind is heavily in his favor, he's going to have to limit his distance. 3.2 meter per second tailwind can get carried away on your ball. It's looking like a good shot. There you go. And hope and pray also that your ball doesn't land on the green edge, because if it lands on the green edge, it's very hard to chip, and it's very hard to putt from the green edge. yards away okay don't play ridiculous um probably you probably want to aim for your 14 yard mark here right here because it's going downhill and then coming back uphill or you can actually try to hit 15 yards just don't hit 16 because it's going to roll past the hole you see how he aimed it all the way to the right because he knows it's going to roll back the uphill at the end of the hole supposedly made eagle even though that viewpoint was really bad but okay <laughs> okay so we got an eagle now we're on the par 4 13th hole 367 yards the trick to this hole is that you cannot use your driver because your driver has no height when you drive it so this hole is very elevated because if you try to use a driver it's going to be skimming along the fairway when the closer you get to the hole so if you're going to use any kind of wood when getting to this hole you're going to have to use your three wood or your five wood your irons are fine because they have high trajectory Aim for the front or the back, it doesn't matter, but you need to birdie this hole because it's a par 4 and you're already at the green in 1, so you have to practice your chip shot. We'll 
see. You can see it's a little downhill. Not the best of chip shots, but it's three yards. You have to be able to make your three yards. Well, it's closer to four, so if you do miss, don't miss overpoweringly. It's an uphill putt, so the brakes aren't as strong as they look. Just missed it, but it's okay. He can come back and get a par. Plus, he did get an eagle on the previous hole. He did get an eagle on the previous hole, so that almost cancels this part out if he gets it. There you go. The last thing you want to do is bogey. Bogey is terrible when you're taking the Torpo test. Now going to a par 3. 213 yards. Um, there's nothing too difficult about this hole except for putting. Um, landing on the green shouldn't be an issue. It's only 213 yards. If you're 85 or higher, there should be no problems getting to this hole and landing on the green safely. But if you're going to land on the green, land left of the pin. Because if you land to the right, then you're sacrificing yourself going into the green edge. He lands to the right of the pin, but um, we'll see how this goes. I think, if I remember correctly, the green is more, yeah, it's a big slope. Left of the pin isn't so bad. Play for your par. He's hit it with a lot of power, but you see it's slowing down just enough to where his par putt isn't going to be that bad. This is why you try to land to the left of the pin. I, to me, uphill putts are easier than downhill putts because uphill putts means your ball's not going to break left or right that much. Fifteenth hole, it's a par four, 400 yards. This should be a birdie hole. No problem. You can take it to the pin in one shot. Or take it to the green in one shot, not a problem. Looks like he is using a draw shot going from right to left. And he lands in the rough. From time to time, you will get these crazy lies. It looks like it's bunker, but it says it's rough. If it says rough, play it like rough. Because if you don't, when you play it like bunker, then you're gonna be, your ball's gonna be flying past the hole. Because the bunker, you have to add a whole lot more power. These shots are pretty difficult. Um, it's it's going to break left, but not as much as it's going to go straight. So I would aim it. If it was me, I would I would aim it at the horizontal line. And he makes his birdie. Par four, 345 yards. Easy hole. You should easily make birdie on this hole. You should be able to drive it all the way to the green in one shot. And either get an eagle or get a birdie. Either or. But you have to you, you have to get an eagle or, or a birdie on this hole. You have to. If you can drive it, you gotta birdie it. Fairway bounce onto the green. If you're using a wood, fairway bounce onto the green. Now with this hole, you 
probably want to play a little safer because if you miss the hole, as you can tell, it's going downhill. So it's not going to stop rolling once it passes. So try to play it short or play it for the hole. Don't play, don't put too much power into this. Hit it at your 8 yard mark or 9 yard mark. See, it's already slowing down a little bit. And he's going to make it. And that's how you eagle. Next hole, 17th hole, par 5, um, 580 yards, the wind's favoring him, you have to birdie, at least birdie this hole. Um, since the wind is in your favor, um, what you really want to try to aim for is just past the lake. The fairway just past the lake is what you're trying to aim for if you're level 5, level 85 to 90, that's what I know you can do. If you can go farther, the better, but if you can just get it past this lake, you're in good shape. As you can see here, the lie is pretty flat. It's a little bit downhillish, but it's slanted. So what you're gonna do, since he is slanted, leaning back to the left, the ball is gonna go left like that so you have to aim it to the right over here so then your lie is going to cancel out your aim to make it go straight the wind is also going as a tailwind to toward the right of the hole so you have to aim a little bit more left you have to aim even more left um, the fairway if I remember correctly is has some slopes but if you get it close to the pin it shouldn't be that bad So it's going to be slopey until you get close to the hole. Or the vice versa. So here, you can see it's going, going to go right, and it's going to go left, and it's going to go even harder left. So you're going to have to aim out here, in this area. Right around where the M is, to play, to play it safe. Don't want to hit too hard, because see it's going to break hard at the end. Hopefully he didn't hit too hard to where he misses his birdie, but that's why you try to pl not play it too hard, because you don't want these super long putts for a birdie that you should be getting automatically. But he makes it, so it's safe. If you have confidence in your putting, that's a big plus. Don't ever doubt your putting, don't ever second guess yourself, go, go with what you know. Okay, the last hole is a par 3, 140 yards. It's an island green, so make sure you land it on the island. It's, it's not really that hard. Um, most likely you'll be either using a pitching wedge if you're really high level or a 9 iron. Um, there's no wind, so you should be able to stick the landing no problem. I won't be surprised if a lot of people have gotten hole in ones on this hole, because it's, it's very simple. People just get intimidated because it's an, on an island and they hit it into the water because they were trying to play so safe that um, they played it so short. Especially when the hole's at the front of the green, they try to play it so it lands like right in front of the green instead of like playing past the green and having it roll back. The um, green right now is pretty flat. It's going to do a double back, so it's going to go right a little bit, then go straight, and then go left. Right, straight, and it goes in by the time it goes straight. And that is a 13 under round for Hella. That's what you want. Negative, negative 13, or 13 under. Um, but for the tour protest, you're going to want to try to go for 15 under. But um, that is a very good score on a casual walkthrough of Hello. Um, and this is Solz. Thank you for watching. Um, I hope this guide will help you for your tour protests. And I'll see you later for hopefully doing a Fornius run.